Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, today's session is solve problems of semi-converters. In the earlier videos, we have studied what is a semi-converter, then corresponding waveforms, uh, then calculation of average output voltage, calculation of RMS output voltage and so on. In this session, we will solve some numericals based on semi-converters. I have made a list of formulae. As far as the numericals of semiconductors are concerned, this is a sufficient list. So let us start the session. First problem is a single phase semiconductor with highly inductive load is fed from 120 volt AC mains and fired at angle alpha, which is equal to 90 degree. Calculate average load current, second part RMS load voltage. Uh, first part is average load voltage, second is RMS load voltage, third is displacement factor which is abbreviated as a DF. Now, we have the list of formulae. Very very important thing. This voltage, given voltage is 120 volt AC mains. That means this given value is the value of RMS voltage. In the formulae, we need value of, of I mean maximum value or peak value. So make use of the formula Vm that is maximum or peak value is root 2 times Vrms. I am talking about first formula. Vm is root 2 times Vrms. Just like I have told the given value from AC mains is RMS voltage. So simply put the value so it becomes root 2 into 120. So this value is 169.705 volt. This is the value of Vm. Now the corresponding firing angle is given as 90 degree. So given value of alpha is 90 degree. Now first part, first calculation is average load voltage. We have a ready made formula V average. Sometimes notation is V0 average. V0 stands for output voltage. So simply V average or V0 average. Refer the formula, it is Vm upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha. We have the v value of Vm. Vm is 169.705 upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha. I am talking about formula number 2. Value of alpha is 90 degree. So 1 plus cos 90. So if you solve this. On the calculator then this answer is 54.018 volt. This is the value of average output voltage. V0 stands for output voltage, AV stands for average value. Second calculation, RMS load voltage which is same as RMS output voltage. Notation is V0 RMS or simply V RMS. We have the formula square root of Vm square upon 2 pi in the bracket pi minus alpha plus sine 2 alpha upon 2. Now very very important thing. This is the common mistake done by many students. Here term is pi minus alpha. If you are talking about this term pi minus alpha, this given value is pi. If you are operating the calculator in degree mode, so directly you should not put value of alpha as 90 degree. Matlab, make it more simple. Whenever you will come across term pi minus alpha, in that case only value of alpha should be written uh, in radian mode, not in degree. Given value of alpha is in degree, I have written the formula. To obtain the value in radian, formula is pi upon 180 degree, 180 into uh, the given value which is in degrees. So, if I want to calculate this value of alpha in radian, I will write it like this. It is pi upon 180 degree. Look at this last formula, pi upon 180 degree into given value which is given in degrees. So, given value of alpha is 90 degree. So, simply it is pi by 2. So, do remember this point. I say other clue, make it more simple. Kisi bhi formula me pi minus alpha term aray, to you should convert alpha given value of angle in radian by making use of this formula. In all remaining places, you can directly put the value of alpha which is in uh, degree. The reason is you have a pi minus term hai, and you are operating the calculator in a degree mode. All right. So I'm talking about the second formula that is V0 RMS. So V0 RMS is equals to square root of 
Look at the formula Vm square upon 2 pi. Value of Vm is this 169.705 square upon 2 pi in the bracket. Just now I explained you the concept. Pi minus alpha means value of alpha must be in uh, radian mode. So it is pi minus pi by 2. Value of alpha is uh, pi by 2 plus sin 2 alpha upon 2. Now, again, don't uh, uh, convert it in uh, uh, radian mode. Matlab, sirp pi minus alpha ke liye value radian mein chahi. In all other places, value should be in degree. So, it is sin 2 into 90 degree sin 2 alpha divided by 2. So, this everything is in inside the square bracket. Therefore, this value V0 RMS, that is value of RMS output voltage is 84.85 volt. Third term, displacement factor, which is abbreviated as DF. We have a ready-made formula cos of minus alpha by 2. So, DF, displacement factor is cos of minus alpha by 2. Value of alpha is 90 degree. So, it is cos of minus 45 degree. This is minus sign. Cos of minus 45 degree, which is 0 0.707. So, this is the value of displacement factor. Next numerical, a single phase hub controlled bridge rectifier supplies a ripple free load current of 10 amperes. That means this 10 ampere is value of output current which is 10 ampere that is I0 operates from 110 volt 60 hertz mains. Just now we discussed this value is the given value for RMS voltage. So VRMS is 110 volt. If average output voltage is 75 volt that means given value is value of V average which is 75 volt. Calculate first part firing angle that is alpha, second part RMS output voltage, third part RMS supply current, fourth part RMS third harmonic supply current. Now, like the previous sum, this is the RMS uh, value of voltage. First, we need to calculate value of Vm. So, we have the formula Vm is equals to I am talking about first formula root 2 times VRMS. So, root 2 times given value that is 110 volt. So, this value of Vm will be 155.56 volts. So, we have got the value of Vm. Now, first calculation firing angle. Ab dekho, ye, this is similar to the earlier question, uh, but in this case, we need to calculate value of alpha. In the earlier numerical, value of alpha was given. Given value is value of V average. So, we have this formula. V average is Vm upon pi. We have got the value of V average. Then we know the value of Vm. Just now we uh, did the calculation Vm upon pi 1 plus cos alpha. From this, we have to calculate value of alpha. So, make use of formula number 2. Simply put the values. So, in this formula, I will write v average this is given value that is 75 is equals to vm that is 155.56 upon pi in the bracket 1 plus cos alpha simplify this equation so this can be written as 75 pi upon 155.56 is equals to 1 plus cos alpha. Therefore, cos alpha is equals to 75 pi upon 155.56 minus 1. Both simply, ye one yaha pe transfer kya and LHS and RHS are interchanged. So, we got the value of cos alpha. Do this calculation, then alpha will be cos inverse of this term. So, if you solve this, you will get value of firing angle alpha is equals to 59.02 degree. हम लोगों ने अभी अभी learn किया कि इस calculation में radian का भी value लगता है. So, 
at this stage itself let us convert this value into radian mode we have the formula pi upon 180 degree into given values in degrees so this same value can be written as pi upon 180 degree into uh, 59.02 so if you do this calculation this value of alpha in radian will be 1.02 radian rad stands for value in radian <coughs> This is the value of angle firing angle alpha. Second part RMS output voltage. Same formula of what we used right now. So square root of Vm square upon 2 pi in the bracket pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha upon 2. Again, like the previous sum, for pi minus alpha, you should put the value of alpha which is in radian. In all other places, like in this uh, in place of sin 2 alpha here, value of alpha should be uh, in degree mode. So this is vm square value of vm is 155.56 square upon 2 pi in the bracket pi minus alpha it is pi minus 1.03 plus sine 2 into 90 degree because value of alpha uh, sorry it is not 90 degree value of alpha is 2 into 59.02 degree this is the value of alpha divided by 2 so if you do this calculation then this this gives us value of v0 rms that is rms output voltage so this answer is 99.16 and its unit is hold because this is the rms voltage this is the value of rms voltage that is answer of second part third part RMS supply current. We have this formula I S RMS. This suffix S stands for supply. So RMS supply current is I0 square root of pi minus alpha upon pi. Again, same logic. Whenever you will come across term pi minus alpha, value of alpha must be in radian. So this value is I S. S stands for supply. So supply RMS current is I0. Value of I0 is 10 square root of pi minus alpha that is pi minus 1.03 upon pi so this value of uh, rms supply current is 8.1984 amperes fourth part rms third harmonic supply current मैंने एक जनरलाइज्ड फॉर्मूला लिखा है आई एन आर एम एस मतलब ये एन हार्मोनिक का है इट कैन बी थर्ड हार्मोनिक फोर्थ हार्मोनिक सेवंथ हार्मोनिक व्हाटएवर इट इज एन का वैल्यू चेंज करना है सो फॉर थर्ड हार्मोनिक वैल्यू ऑफ एन विल बी 3 सो आई विल राइट दिस एज आई 3 आर एम एस मतलब थर्ड हार्मोनिक वैल्यू व्हिच इज इक्वल्स टू 2 रूट 2 अपॉन एन पाई व्हेन एवर एन इज देयर वी हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इज इक्वल्स टू 3 सो इट इज 3 पाई I0 value of I0 is 10 so here I will write into 10 into cos of n alpha by 2 again n means 3 so it is 3 into value of alpha is 59.02 upon 2 so if you do this calculation then value of third harmonic uh, RMS current will be 0.0769 MPS. So this is the way to do the calculations of all related terms uh, based on uh, semiconductors. So just I have told you, this list is just enough list sufficient time to solve any attempts as far as the numericals of semiconductors are concerned. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you, thanks a lot for watching this video.